Pepsi for Judd. He's got Petrasso in support. Takes a touch and delivers. It is deflected in, and that's somewhat aided the cross. Didn't quite drop for a Barnet player, and it's all the way back to Daly, who gets a big head on it, and it's forward to Hooper. Just runs into Wordsworth, who plays it into Chester. Hooper turns and volleys it just wide of the post. Instinctive attacking play by JJ Hooper, Aaron, who will want to get back amongst the goals. A good little flick. His shot was always going wide and not troubling Ross, but positive from uh, the B's number 11 to get his shot off and... Yeah, a nice bit of spell of pressure from Tim Flowers' side. Of a woking throw in this time in a much more advanced position. Those long throw-ins again caused Barnet issues in that reverse fixture. It was more the second ball was dropping in the box and they were ruthless that afternoon, Woking. Certainly was a 4-1 defeat for the Bees that afternoon. Throwing is in, can't let it drop there. Manages to get it clear eventually, but there was an opportunity for maybe Woking to turn and shoot. Lofthouse now bringing the ball forward. Here's Kretschmar down the line to Loza. His attempt to cross is blocked by Daly. Kretschmar back to the Jamaican Loza. Dinks it in towards the far post where there's plenty of Woking players and Daly has to head it off the line. Pressure still coming though. Dunn gets a Foot onto it, but it'll be another throw in. Barnett living a very dangerous life at the back at the moment. Good defending from Liam Daly. Aaron, it looked for all the world that, that the cards were going to take the lead, and it was a good header. It had Loach beaten all ends up, but Liam Daly there to the rescue. Alloz up to Kretschmar. Crosses it in, headed away by the young Greek, Kevelas. It's going to come straight back forward. Ball being allowed to bounce around a lot. Essentially a chance to get a shot away. No, it's played out to the left-hand side where Jamal Loza maybe cuts in and curls it. And it's a fine finish. It's the third goal for Jamal Loza here at the Hive this season. Adding to the two he scored for Kings Lynn. Jamal Loza opens the scoring with a fine curled finish into that bottom right corner. 1-0 to the visitors. Yeah, it's a great strike. He's Liam Daly not happy with... The lack of pressure on him, it for all the world, he could just cut in and find the bottom corner and he, he's done it brilliantly, as he did twice for Kings Lynn and that little spell for Woking has just turned into a goal and it puts Barnett on the back foot and they have it all to do again. Demis Kefalas, to the feet of Dunn, who plays it back to Daly and it's up forward to Baker Richardson, who wasn't quite anticipating the long ball there and wasn't into a full run to get on the end of it. Kretschmar wins the header and here's the goal scorer Loza. A little bit of space to run into and he's got a man over. It's Napper. Cuts back inside. Looks to get a shot away. Here's Loza again. His effort is deflected. Kept in play by Daly. Working, enjoying far too much time on the edge of the Barnet box. Here's Baker Richardson though at the other end. Looks to get by and that is a committed challenge. And could we see the first card of the day? It's going to be a yellow. James Dunn making the point that if Baker Richardson is, gets past his man, he, he's in on goal. Is the online Barrow striker? It's a little bit maybe far out for it to go under the denying a clear and obvious opportunity. And he does go for the ball. Sander McBurney wins the ball and now Barnett looks to get it forward JJ Hooper heads it to the feet of Petrasso who can bring it down and potentially set away Baker Richardson he opts to play it back to McBurney it's a bit more better from McBurney as we've touched on he's a very direct player and a chance here maybe for him to get on the end of it the Woking defence is sixes and sevens Petrasso claims for a penalty a waved away Woking just switched off there and allowed McBurney and Baker Richardson to fashion a real good opportunity Corner, corner kick here for Woking. Taken by Cooper. That's a great delivery and there's pinball and it's a reaction save there from Scott Loach. Key save from the B's number one. Woking will come again. No. Barnett needs to be careful here. Their goal living a charmed life. towards Baker Richardson, he gets his head onto it, J.J. Hooper 
Looks to come away with it. Keeps it in play. He's under pressure from Jamal Lozzo. Petrasso dinks it in. Here's McQueen. Oh, it just didn't quite sit up for a shot. But here's Wordsworth. Curls it in and forces Craig Ross to scramble across his goal. Better from Barnett in the last five minutes or so, Aaron, since, since Efron's come on, really. Barnett have started to try and take the game to Woking a bit more. Decent effort from Wordsworth, but as I say, comfortable stop for Ross in the Woking goal. Back to Loza. The difference between the two sides at the moment with that 29th minute strike. And that was a rather rash from James Dunn, who, again, he's walking that tightrope of facing a suspension with his next yellow. And it's giving the ball away in a very good position here for working to deliver as I cast my eyes over to the dugouts. And it looks like Barnett are readying their third and final change. And it will be Mohamedou Fahl coming on shortly. Free kick is taken. It's powerfully whipped in and it's almost B loach and that has on the follow-up. Musa Diara has doubled Woking's lead. Loach must have seen that initial free kick late. And it just fell after striking the post to the feet of the big Frenchman. Who just tapped it home from very close range. 2-0 to Woking. Yeah, extremely disappointing goal for Barnett to concede. They've Moussa Diara had all sorts of space on the rebound to poke home and as you say came through quite a few bodies and bounced back off the upright and left Loach with no chance for the rebound and I don't think you can fault Woking for their two goal lead Baker Richardson chance to bring the ball down here he's surrounded by three Woking bodies here's Wordsworth he's just going to let fly again and Oh. <laughs> after Tuesday night I won't say why was he doing that because we've seen what he can do it was a decent effort uh, from Anthony Wordsworth who's obviously going to be full of confidence after Tuesday night's strike so no fault for trying he's been the only man who's tested Craig Ross in this second half it hasn't looked likely but if Barnett can get themselves a goal, Aaron. It will certainly spring him into life. Mohamedy foul with a chance. Couldn't get a clean connection on either of his strikes there. And he knows that was a chance. Gone begging, Aaron. As I was just saying, that it hasn't looked likely. Nearly worked in our favour, the commentator's curse. But as you say, didn't find the contact. And that was a, a good opening for Barney. Working now, come forward. Crossing opportunity. Here's Kretschmar in a world of space. Can he add a third? Blocked by Kefalas. But you imagine that will be that. Playing. And that's it. Full time in this Vanarama National League fixture.